welcome to Who's Your Daddy? Thanks for joining us. I'm Matthew, and today we have a very special episode for you. We are joined by my wife's Aunt Susie. We are visiting her in her home state of North Carolina, so I thought it'd be great to try some snacks from North Carolina. So we went to this cool place called Dwayne's. Now Dwayne's, was it in Smithfield or Selma? Selma. It's okay. Selma. This place called Dwayne's, it is a big, uh, big store that has all kinds of stuff. It started out in, uh, in 1991, it was called Dwayne's Pumpkin Patch. And then it grew from Dwayne's P Pumpkin Patch to Dwayne's Country Garden. And it has slowly been growing, and it's got a lot of cool local stuff. It's got lots of plants and lots of flowers. They had a huge garden center. Yeah, that was awesome. Was that was beautiful. my favorite part. That was one of my favorite parts, Their too. Their bathroom? <laughs> phenomenal. It was beautiful. <laughs> and they had just like one stand full of things covered in sunflowers. It was beautiful. Yeah, and they had clothing, and they even had a little ice cream shop. It was really neat. Uh, but what I really liked to get was some of the local snacks and candy from North Carolina. So that's what we were going to try here today. All right, so first, let's just jump right in. I got some chips from this company called Carolina Kettle. Kettle cooked potato chips. They're made by one in six snacks. That is in Raleigh, North Carolina, not too far from here. And this flavor is dill pickle. I like dill pickle chips. Smell like sweet and sour. Not sweet and sour. Oh wow. Vinegar, salt and vinegar. Yeah, they like salt and vinegar. vinegar <laughs> they taste like pickle. Thank you. They do taste like pickle. Mm-hmm. Those are good though. Yeah, those are good. The chips are a little too hard though. Well, I they're, like they're kettle cooked. Yeah, yeah oh, kettle cooked like is softer. Little, it's chips. a little crunchier. I like those. You know what this reminds me of? What's that? So when we were little. We could go to the bookstore and buy those pads of paper where there were scratch and sniff on the front, and this is what the pickle smelled like. Yeah. Well, pickle's one of my favorite flavors of chips. That was good. It mm -hmm. makes me want another. I think those are really good. I give those a 10. I like them a lot. Eight. Um, I give them like a eight. Seven. Oh, nine. nine. Yeah, they were very good. I'd say nine. Okay, let's try some more Carolina kettle chips. These are rosemary and garlic. Mmm. They look yeah. pretty, the bag does. It does. Oh. Mm. And this is the same company. Yes, the same yeah. company. Smell Made locally here in Raleigh. They're oh gosh, it smells terrible. They're rosemary and garlic. I like that rosemary. Ooh. It smells like those hard crackers. Um that look like they're woven. Yeah. What? The crackers look like they're woven. Is that what they're called? Yes. I think yes. so, yeah. Triscuits, yeah. That herbal flavor is the mm. rosemary coming yeah, through. Yeah, I like yeah. that. These are good. <clears throat> this makes That's me think different. of yeah. that dude can cook on TikTok. I like he those. makes the rosemary salt. Yes. This is really good. I like these a lot. Rosemary salt. If, if you, you know, know, you know. You know. <laughs> So I'd give those about a nine. Those are really good too. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Seven. Oh, I give it like a nine. Those are good. Yeah, me too. Nine. nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. The last flavor of chips we have <laughs> is another Carolina kettle flavor. This is honey, honey sriracha. Sriracha. <laughs> sriracha. Wow. I never knew it was spelled sriracha. It smells mm. immaculate. Immaculate. Yes. Immaculate. They're, oh, they're what? spicy. They're Ooh. so hot. Are yeah. you serious? <laughs> I don't think they're very flavorful at all. They're kind of bland. They're they, super spicy. They burn my throat. They burn my throat. They, they taste kind of like a bland barbecue chip. No, they don't taste hey, good. There's no flavor at all. Spicy hot. It, it, too hot, too, too hot. hot. Yeah, yes. It it's is spicy. too spicy. I give those about a six. Uh, they're just okay. I give them about a four. Two. I hate, I hate spicy stuff. Yeah, too spicy. Two. 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 I give them a zero because I didn't even try them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They were too spicy. They didn't even taste good. Now they're stuck in my teeth. Since uh, everybody had the spicy stuff, we're going to wash them down with something called cheer wine. This is a cherry flavored soda that uh, was made in 1917, so it's over 100 years old. 
and it's uh, made right here in North Carolina in Salisbury. And who did you say is from Salisbury? Bob and Elizabeth Dole. And Salisbury Steak. Oh, so. okay. Not Salisbury Steak, but yeah, the Doles are from Salisbury. That's cool. And another fun fact about Cheerwine is that it's been owned by the family since its founding. The <laughs> longest running company to be run by the original founding family since 1917. It's a cherry flavored soft drink. Let's see what we think. Okay, so this bottle isn't 100 years old, but no, the company is. The company is. The bottle itself is 100 years old. That's not bad. It tastes kind of like a cherry Coke. It just tastes like cherry Coke, yeah. Not not a strong cola flavor. You get, I think you get more cherry uh, flavor. I haven't had carbonation. Thank in goodness. Mm. I haven't had carbonation in a long time. Does yep. it make you want more? No. We don't. I haven't, I haven't drank soda in a long time. Me either. We so don't drink a lot of soda in this family. Yeah, carbonation kind of just stings my throat. It kind of scares me. I would give it a seven. Mm. I like the taste of it. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. It has a good cherry flavor. Yeah, it, it wasn't like cola -y, but it, it kind of just tastes like cherry uh, Coke or cherry mm -hmm. Pepsi. As far as soft drinks go, I think it was pretty good. Definitely worth getting. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'd give it about a seven. I just like don't like soft drinks really that but much, so I'd probably give it about like a, a five just because of the tingly. <laughs> I'd say like seven. Too tingly for you, huh? Too tingly. Okay. The taste was just average. Okay, let's move on to some desserts. Next, we have something from Meemaw's Country Kitchen. It's some blueberry shortbread cookies. Meemaw. Ow. And it's Sorry. cool. It says, by purchasing this bag, you've donated 10 cents to your local food bank. It's a way to help feed the hungry. And this is from One in Six Snacks in Raleigh, same place those chips were from. So I like blueberry shortbread. I think this sounds like it'll be good. So these are just little... Little blueberry shortbreads. I love shortbread cookies. They kind of have a little lemon flavor to them. Mm -hmm. and Lemony and buttery. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, there is a little bit of lemon in it. Cheese titties? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> yes, they, uh, apparently Meemaw's Country Kitchen has mm -hmm. a product called cheese titties. Meemaw. We did, we did not get those. That's what Sheldon comes to grandma. A cheese titty? <laughs> <laughs> I love blueberry and lemon together. The blueberry lemon combo is one of my favorites as well. I did a review on the Popeye's blueberry lemon pie. I'll leave a link to that down below. Popeye's has a really good blueberry lemon pie. It's super tasty. Yeah, so blueberry and lemon is so good together. If you didn't know, Mima is a term of endearment for grandmothers in the South. So this is like grandma's blueberry shortbread. Those are really good. I wish it had a little bit stronger blueberry flavor. But I like the buttery lemon flavor contrasting with the blueberry. I uh -huh. give him a 10. I give it a 10. 10. 10. 10. Okay. Huh? Mm hmm. 10. Way to go. That's not how I mean. You guys good. Good. No, I'd probably give those a nine and a half. Since we like lemon so well, next we're going to try these Dewey's Meyer lemon cookie thins. Lemon flavored cookie thins. And these are made in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Winston Salem, North Carolina. Look, I just Winston and Salem were both cigarette brands. See, oh, I thought oh. so. Is that why they named the city that? Mm -hmm, I believe so. Even yeah, better, they named the cigarettes after them, after the city. Mm. We'll have to find out. Mm -hmm. So these are like little thin, crispy cracker-looking mm. things. Mm. Very good. Those are good. They're like the mm. consistency of a really, really thin vanilla wafer, but yeah. lemon flavor. They kind of taste too crackery for me. I say like more of like a cookie taste. They are They're crackers. very crispy like a cracker, yeah. In the UK, they call them a biscuit. These would be good with tea, I think. Dip them in your tea. They have a mm -hmm. snickerdoodly taste. Snickerdoodly? Uh -huh. <laughs> they kind of do. Snickerdoodly. Mm -hmm. Little snickerdoodly. Those are my favorite. Those are your favorite? Yep. So you give those Very a good. You give those a 10? 10. 10. 9. 10. Hey! 9. Whoa, sorry, gosh. Hey, now for our penultimate one, we've got Chapel Hill toffee. This is made in Chapel Hill. I can't have that. Why By not? KLG. Pecan. It has chocolate, cocoa butter, milk fat. There's no nut. Oh, pecans, yeah. So this toffee is chocolate covered little squares um, of toffee. Chocolate covered toffee. That's like, tastes like a dark chocolate. 
It, it is a dark chocolate. It is. Oh, yeah. It's that nice. is good. I don't know what it's what it's covered with. It's probably covered with the pieces of pecan. That's, That's what it is. It's really good. That I love good. toffee. Mm. Like a heath bar. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that it's still kind of soft, so it doesn't get real stuck in your teeth. Mm-hmm. That's that's really good. Yeah, I give that a ten. Nice. It's really tasty. Mm -hmm. Ten for sure. That was nice. my favorite. I liked it. Ten. Yeah, ten. Ten. Yay! Okay, now for our last one, we have something from Dewey's Bakery. They are classic cheddar cheese straws. So I got these because Emily loves cheese it, so I was guessing it was something like that. They look like cookies. They don't look like they do. cheddar. Uh, They're like... I don't like that at all. The consistency of a shortbread cookie, which is really weird. That's terrible. Get that out Wait, of my Wait, here, let me, let me finish it. But they're cheese flavored. Especially having after having the sweet face. stuff. After having all the sweet stuff, this is really weird. I don't want it. Ew, this is weird. This is really good. I love it. I suppose we should have had them when we had the chips. That's so gross. Get that out of my face. Mm. It's not the flavor that's weird. It's the consistency. The consistency is really weird. Thousand. I'd probably give them about a three. Zero. Two. Eleven. Twenty thousand. <laughs> I'm going to give it a two. For the fact that it tasted more like a cookie. Yeah. And they call them straws, but there's no hole in the middle. Yeah. They're yeah. not a straw. What's, What's up with that? Here. I like the cheesy taste of it. I'm going to give it a five. <laughs> so, if you have tried any of these snacks from North Carolina, make sure to leave us a comment down below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Because we do lots of tasting videos like this of local snacks, and snacks from around the world. And we want to thank Aunt Susie for being a part of this today. Thank you, Aunt Susie. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thanks for being a part of this special North Carolina video. We will see you again next time. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.